I'm starting live. I'm going live right now. Okay, what's going on? If you're if you're on uh, YouTube, let me know by giving a thumbs up to the video. If you're on Instagram, make sure that you've subscribed to YouTube as well. I'm going to wait for everybody to join us. Uh, I am not 100% sure if I sent out the right notices, so you might not have gotten advance notice today, but that's all the more reasons you should subscribe and put your notifications on. Uh, so, hello from all over the world to you guys. I thought I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to I'm gonna talk about some of the comments I got about my Shy Guys video last week. Let me see if I can find, I'm gonna try to pull these up for you guys. Um, where was this? Let's see, there was some confusion as to, I think I put out two of the same videos. So that's why I am gotta find which one wrote, oh, why can't I find it? Ah, there, maybe that's it. All right, let's see. So what I'm going to try to do, here we go. Okay. Are you all ready? Uh, if you're ready, give a thumbs up to the video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read some of the comments that I got on the last video, and then we're going to discuss them. So uh, the reason I brought up the whole issue of shy guys in general is because of the fact that when I asked my patrons, I said, what is the biggest problem that you have? Um, and then I asked Instagram too, with women, everyone said that they're shy, <clears throat> insecure, that they don't have the right job or that they don't have the right living situation or they, they had a lot of different excuses, but mainly the whole thing boiled down to, I believe, uh, fear. Whether you call yourself introverted, whether you call yourself uh, shy, uh, it's all about just shifting. So what I want to do is I want to read some of the comments, especially the ones that were more challenging to me, and then we're going to go through them together. It's also a homework assignment, and I'm going to put it in the, the link below. And I want you to read this book. It's on Audible as well by Mel Robbins called The Five Second Rule. And it basically, I'm going to sum it up in a nutshell, it's you have five, four, three, two, one, before your brain decides to shut down whatever brilliant idea you have. So whether or not your idea is to, and I'm just relating it to women. So I want to talk about that five second rule. And I want to talk to you about some of these other things that were written on when I discussed this whole shy thing. Uh, let's see. Okay. So the main uh, one that I'm reacting to is by someone named Twice, who's always given me really good input. Uh, and he had some difference of opinion here. Hey there, BFF. The, here's what Twice said about the fear. Twice said, it's not just about fear or lack of confidence. A lot of times it's also lack of experience. And a few times this is the only reason. And sadly, it's never simply as stop being shy and letting it go, it just doesn't help. And adding the shy, weak person just makes it worse. It takes time to overcome fears and insecurities to learn new skills. If someone is really struggling with these kinds of things, what I would recommend is professional help. Some psychologists even do social training. Oh, shoot. What is going on? Somehow, I, okay. Somehow it, uh, okay, where was I? But if you can overcome their fears and learn new skills, uh, social skills by Pract, uh, themselves by practicing and doing simple exercises like those you mentioned, then there's no need for professional help. But I, I have an issue with this whole thing. You know, he, he's saying it's, it sounds like it's a very, it's like an insidious pathological problem. And it's not. I really, really believe that you guys, whoever is watching right now, whether it's on YouTube or Instagram, if you've got this label on yourself is shy, we need to, re we need to remove the label ASAP. The longer that you carry that with you and identify as being a shy person, introverted person, or coming up with excuses, excuses, excuses for why you 
shouldn't approach somebody when you really wanted to, the worse it's going to get for you. And it's time to change. Um, people call me the bulldog. Why do they call me the bulldog? Because I do not give up, especially if I'm very confident about it and very, very um, opinionated about something. So the five second rule can apply here too, because if you're going to approach, say you're in a bar and you see this girl that's very attractive to you, um, she's sitting at the bar by herself waiting for somebody, right? Now you have five seconds to decide whether or not you want to walk over to this person. Within that five seconds, your brain is going to start shutting down. It's going to say, oh, she's going to think I'm so stupid or uh, she's not going to want to talk to me or if she's older, she's going to think I'm a kid or I'm just, I don't have enough money to take her out. I, I have like a bad hair day going on. I mean, there's a million different excuses. So I'm trying to say to you that within those five seconds, you need to switch it over to, I can do this because what would happen if you do it? What's the worst thing that possibly could happen? Rejection, right? Rejection is the worst thing that can happen. And is that so horrible? So what? You did either way. If you don't go up to her, you're going to lose for sure. You have a slight chance of getting her number, no matter what. If you go to her versus don't go to her, so you need to try it. So I, that's why the guy twice who I, that's his name on my uh, and he always has really insightful good things. And I do believe he has a point that some people need professional help, but most people don't. Most people I feel can change this on their own just by listening to some self-help podcasts like Gary V. He, I always recommend Gary V because he's you know, big into making people see their potential and letting go of fears and just go with following your passion. And I believe you about here. And what can you guys do about this situation? Uh, let's see. Hi, 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 hi to everyone. Is it myself? Let's see. I dare you to double braid your hair. That was not exactly what I was thinking what was going to happen here. Okay. Uh, you are the most important miracle for me. Okay, good. Stop being shy. When, okay, so Joju, stop being shy when you turned 18 and joined the military. Yeah, I mean, certainly if you have to, if you're in the military, you have to speak up, right? You, They don't allow you to be like a eh, timid little shy guy. You have to make decisions. You have the fight. If you're doing anything with a gun, you're going to have to make a split second decision. So you cannot, that's, what's, that's a very good point. So if you did join the military, that would definitely help your shyness in all aspects, not just, you know, in terms of like your authority or whatever. Um, I'm watching and I absolutely agree with you. I do need to remove that label. All right, the great. Let's who else is removing it? Come on, you people. Raise your hand. Give me a thumbs up. Remove that. Remove your labels. No no longer are you an introvert. You are now going to start being and I mean, is it going to be easy? No. It's going to be a hard thing to do, but one thing. Not just about women. You could, it could be about like, if you wanted to ask your boss for a raise and you're like, oh no, I can't. Yes, you can. You know, it could be as simple as I was standing in line and you budge in front of me. Well, talk to that person and say, hey, you know, I was standing here. Don't be shy and timid little things saying, oh, you know, that guy just budged in front of me. And blah, blah, blah. No, just go ahead and speak your mind. It's not going to hurt you. Uh, just walk up to a girl and say, hi, that's it. If you're rejected, so what? That's part of life. Move forward. Curtis. Couldn't agree more. I love your advice. Thank you. I'm confident. All right, Daniel. It's okay for broads to be shy. Chucky, is it okay for broads to be shy? Um, you know what? No. I have walked up to plenty of guys. And one time I walked up to a group of five guys, literally. And I walk up and I said to them, which one of you guys wants to dance? Now, the guy that said yes ended up being with me for over a year. Okay. He walked, you know, there was five guys there. They were all single, uh, all attractive. And I just walked up and I said, which one of you wants to dance? And the guy that danced with me ended up being the guy that I was involved with. So that took balls, right, to, for me to walk up to him. I had, I had five seconds to decide if I should do that or not. 
And I found that even if it's like something like you're at a concert and the, in this, in the, whoever's playing says, okay, anybody want to run down to the front? I will go like this. No, no doubt. No, 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 no chance for me to change my mind. Cause as soon as you change your mind, you lose. I really got inspired by this book, the five second world. Cause that's what this is about. So if you guys want to, I'm going to put it in the um, description box below a link that you can read it or you want to listen to that audible or whatever you want to do. But I really think it's going to help you guys a lot. Uh, Delgado is asking me to dance. Okay, let's do that. Uh, I've always talked to girl. Uh, um, this helps improve as far as so, okay, social skills in general. Um, let's hear from the, the people who identify currently as shy guys. And what is still holding you back by what I'm saying to you? Is there anything that I'm missing that I don't understand? Uh, and, and what have you tried that has not worked? So what I'm also thinking is that say you walk up to someone and she says, I have a boyfriend. All right. So you found that piece of information out. Then you can continue to be friends with her, just friends. And maybe one day they'll break up and guess who's there? The friend. Uh, let's see. When I'm at the club, sometimes I may grab a nice looking lady's hand that's walking past. Does uh, do it offend women to do that? Sometimes it works. Sometimes it, they just smile and keep it moving. Uh, some just mug. Um, you might be able to get away with that talk at Texas. Some might think that might be a little too aggressive. Uh, I just think sometimes women um, fear for their safety sometimes and don't want to be grabbed. So that advice may work for you, but I'm not recommending it, especially for guys who are shy, because I don't want them to be spooked if the lady or gives her a smack across the face or something or yells. You, your fear of humiliation is is what causes you, Bryson, to to be okay. So let's talk about humiliation. What does that mean? It means something that she can do can make you feel ashamed of yourself. Um, the only person that can make you feel ashamed of yourself is you, because no matter what she says, it wouldn't, it, it will, it shouldn't affect you. Why should it not affect you? Because you have confidence in yourself. So if she says, um, I'm not going with you, you, you piece of shit. Well, you know, you're not a piece of shit. When you say humiliation, what does humiliation actually mean to you? I'm serious. I think this is a, this could this could be a big breakthrough because I mean, it's if it, somehow you feel like the person has the power to make you feel bad about yourself, but that person doesn't know you. That person doesn't know what kind of greatness or well, how awesome of a person you are. I know how you are, how awesome you are because I, I've been talking to you for a year on YouTube, but that person doesn't know you. So they can't get to you. This You have like this inner wonderful burning core. Everybody does. Everybody's got this fire inside them that's burning wonderful things except for the big town people but i'll talk i'll get to those in a minute but it, and it also except for the mean people that are being mean to me they may not have goodness within them but most people here have goodness within them that goodness cannot be exterminated by some rude woman okay if a rude woman says something bad for, to you you don't you just let it go like i would let it go like pretend you know like how water drops on a duck you know, in, when water drops on a duck, it usually like floats right off, right? That's what you need to get to. You got to have that hard shell and, and see if that would happen. And then if, that, wait, let me know if you guys are hearing this. If I turn the, I just realize the volume is on. I have a lot of issues technologically today. Uh, all right. So yes, the duck thing. Oh, no, what's going on here? Ah, okay, sorry. Uh, I'm attracted to confidence and obviously looks. However, even an unconfident, attractive man is is a turnoff. Ah, Gina. So um, even an unconfident, attractive man is a turnoff. So so what Gina is saying is accurate, absolutely what I agree with. Women are not attracted to the looks. We're attracted to what's here. And if you are not confident and you walk up and just like, eh, 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 uh, you know, you can't walk up like that. You've got to walk up with your A game on. But if you don't feel it, just fake it. 
the more that you fake it, the more it's going to start. It's it's like a, almost like if you dream it, you'll be coming from the movie um, Field of Dreams, whatever the quote was that I fucked up just now. So it's the same thing. Uh, let's see. Bryson, she and her best friend dumped me in public. Okay, she's a bitch, Bryson. She didn't realize your value. You know? That, know that it's not you. That light is still burning. and should be burning brighter. Like, fuck her. I'll prove her wrong. She made a big mistake dumping you, Bryson, because there are a million other women that would love to have someone as sensitive and kind and is, is smart and all the other wonderful attributes that you have. I, I, it's not just Bryson. It's everyone. You all have these wonderful things in you. And another guy said, well, I can't, uh, you know, I can't. Right now I'm in a really bad place because I'm living with my parents because I'm trying to get money so that I can move out. Women, especially older women, do not give a shit if you've got a nice home to go to. They don't. Women, uh, uh, older women, would love to have you come to their house, especially if their kids aren't around. But the point is that going to, you know, someone like I had plenty of guys that when I was single who I would never step foot in their place. They live with a bunch of frat boys. I'm not going to go to their place as an older woman. So it didn't bother me at all that they didn't have any money or they're living in a shithole. I didn't care. I'm not going there. You know, that's irrelevant, right, Gina? <laughs> uh, what, where are all the rest of my women here? Anybody else uh, want to chime in as a woman? Uh, if a woman rejects you, punch her in the head, figuratively speaking, an emotional punch. Toby, no, no, class up. If a woman rejects you or, or is rude to you, do not go right back at them. I want to. I want to go back at these MGTOW guys that uh, hate all women and and I and occasionally I find myself like, girl, I need to type a response. No, don't give them even the benefit of the doubt. If someone rejects you, walk away and just know it's part of the four agreements. Don't take it personally. Let's see. New cougars like men who create music. Yeah, why wouldn't they? That's it's following cougars like anyone who follows their passion, right? Yeah, I think that's really important to have a passion of your own or or some creativity or something that makes you unique. They're never going to know about that. that uh, you know, if, Bryson, how long ago did this happen that these this girl and her best friend dumped you? Was it recently or is this like a fresh burn or is this like an old, old burn that you're holding on to? If it's an old burn, it's time to let the burn go. I mean, shut it off. Let, let all that stuff from the past go every day. Even if it happened yesterday, today's a new day. Today you can have some positive experiences with people. Uh, Bryson, you want me to break her legs? Oh, Chucky. Well, Bryson, you've got a lot of guys here that feel your pain. And that's because they've gone through it. And guess what? Women have gone through it too. Rejection is just part of life. Unfortunately, we all get rejected. And one guy rejected me in a really bad way. I mean, I remember he, we had been talking like online for like, I don't know, maybe three months and he was living in another state and we couldn't wait to see each other. And he came in town and we had great sex. And then he said, I want to see you again the next day. And I remember I had to get a babysitter and everything. And guess what? He ghosted me completely flat out. Just ghosted me. I never heard from him again. I thought he died. I thought literally that it was so like, bizarre to me that he would actually do that. I thought he died and I was going to check, I was going to check the prisons, you know, and then it dawned on me, no, he was just an asshole. He was just a, a piece of shit guy that decided to be a dick. Um, but guess what? That shouldn't affect me. He's a dick, not me. If you build it, they will come. Thank you, Paul. Uh, let's see. Uh, talk of Texas and Bryson, everyone loves you here. Uh, I wish you were around me. Talk of Texas would, would help you. I think Bryson can do it on his own. I really believe that all the guys here that, that think they can't and they think, Oh no, like, you know, I can't, I couldn't do what all these guys are suggesting and what these women are suggesting. You can starting now, let go of, I'm the shy guy label, let go of, I can't take humiliation and rejection anymore. So I'm going to just hide in my shell. Because believe me, there, it's much easier to hide under the bed, but in the long run, it doesn't suit you. Since then, I've been terrified to ask someone out, Bryson. I understand. It's, it's terrifying. But the more you do it, the more empowered you become, the more confident you become, the more you'll be able to have success with it. 
You know, what is the likelihood that you're going to get rejected 10 times in a row? Probably not. You might get it rejected one or two times in a row. Or even I had a date with a guy. He said to me he was literally rejected 13 times. I was the 13th one he had dated. I ended up rejecting him too. Just he wasn't my cup of tea. And, and having him say that to me made me think he wasn't a very confident person. But guess what? The guy is like in a serious relationship now. So he didn't give up. <laughs> just wasn't, he was just wasn't for the people that he had been talking to. Eventually, people will, you know, come around. Eventually, the numbers are in your favor, right? Hi, Poodle Susan. I care about decor, Karen. You care about if, yeah, well, if you care about decor, you don't want to go. Poodle Susan, do you want to go to their house? Uh, if a guy has creative comforts around, I feel comfortable in his space. Well, certainly, Poodle Susan. If if the guy has a cool place, there's nothing wrong with going there. But if he doesn't, that shouldn't be your your excuse for why you can't have them go to your, or, you know, why you can't go to a hotel or why you can't find some place that, that works for both of you. It shouldn't be your excuse for not going out. You can find some, there's a solution to every problem. The only solution, the only problem that would make any sense at all is if you had a life threatening illness that, that sometimes you can't have a solution for, but anything else you can fix. If it's money, Go get another job. If you don't, if you need to get two jobs, get two jobs. If it's you have um, uh, ex girlfriend that you that keeps stalking you, well, completely block her. I mean, whatever it is, you can fix all these different problems, but you just need to think about well, what do you want and how do you achieve it. It's oh, but sometimes it feels like I have PTSD about the situation. I I don't. Bryson is talking about how he was humiliated. But now it's good because you brought it out. You had all these people telling you here that uh, you, know, you know that they would they they feel your pain, and that's because they've gone through it. And even if they never went through it, it's it is very painful. But Bison, honestly, it's not going to help you. You know, it's not going to help you at all to hold on to the shame and the fear of rejection. It just doesn't suit you. Uh, through going to see my life coach, I figured out I I could I stay by myself to protect myself, but I ended up hurting myself. Yeah, you'll end up hurting yourself by protecting yourself, by staying in the house and not experiment, experimenting. Your life is going to go by. It's not, you're, it's, not gonna, it's not like you can start your life over again. Every day that you waste by sitting in your house and saying, I can't go up to girls is a day wasted that you wouldn't be able to even have a shot at it. Like some of the uh, suggestions I was getting last time from some of the women were like, May had suggested practice just talking to women at a grocery store, like we, the cashiers, like talk to the women about whoever's bagging your groceries or, you know, just talk about the day that you're having or they're having or whatever. I always say to the guys when they're bagging my groceries or whatever, I'm like, hey, how's your day going? And it starts a conversation. Well, you could start start that at the gym, start that on a bus, start that uh, in a coffee shop, anywhere. Uh, let's see. When are guests coming back? Um, nah, I don't know. Uh, I was a little shy at one time. This is from the Talk of Texas. Until I started having sex. And the way I was making these women feel made me say, hey, I'm the man. Very good point. Sex definitely, um, when you become very confident sexually, it kind of tran trans like it, it transfers to other areas of your life when you feel good about yourself sexually. Sometimes it's the opposite. Sometimes you get better sexually once you feel more confident being in a relationship with a woman. But either way, it, it, it works. It, it can, you can all change. Jody, you should be respectful in rejecting a man if they are respectful when approaching you. You should, you should be respectful, but if they're not, you don't take it personally, right, Jody? It's, there's no reason that a stranger should have the ability to make you feel shitty because they can't. Uh, Gina Yuck Yuck says, Jody, she agrees. Yeah, we all agree that people need to be respectful of each other, male, female, whatever. You know, it's just a matter of like being a really good person. I've gotten some really shitty things going on here on um, my YouTube channel. Like people like just to like to say, as wear your dentures, you know, or, you know, you should just go ahead and, uh, and stay with your grandchildren, which I don't even have, by the way. Um, but it's like ageism comments to me all the freaking time. Does it bother me? No, because I don't give a shit. I, just, I don't care what these people that don't know me think about me. Oh, uh, let's see. 
I love your attitude, Karen. Thank you, Poodle Susan. You're welcome. Uh, let's see. I'm 23 and decided to move out of my mother's house and stop being a loser, millennial. I am confident now. Joe Ju, uh, glad to hear it. Yeah, I mean, if you can move out, great. But if you can't move out, if you, if for whatever reason you're saving your money so that you can move out and you need to have that time period, it's not the end of the world. You know, you don't need to necessarily always take a woman back to your place or even go, you know, you could still take a woman on dates. You don't need to have that be the reason. Don't use, don't let that be an excuse to you. Uh, you meet all the women at church. Yeah, I bet they're at church. They're everywhere. Let's see. Trans Lowlands Gorilla. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Okay. Wow. It's almost time to go. I just realized what time it was. Instagram peeps, where are you here? Anything you want to add? You're welcome in my apartment in Florida anytime, dear Cougar. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, here we go. Even fishermen don't catch a fish on every cast. Get your pole back in the water. I love that one. That's great. Brown knows best. A whole little fisherman analogy. There's no excuse to live with your parents after the age of 18 unless you're disabled. Chucky, it can happen that you're living with your parents because you just finished college. You're waiting to get a job. Uh, you have a lot of loans to pay back for whatever reason. Uh, there are reasons that you need to stay there until you can get your shit together. And that's fine. No one is gonna. No one is going to reject you because you're living with your parents. They're going to reject you because you're not confident, as Gina said, or you never ask them anyway. If you never even walk up to them, then you're already rejected, right? I mean, I get it that you all want your own place, uh, and but sometimes there are circumstances that it doesn't allow for it. And maybe you're gonna, maybe you're, you're moving someplace, and so in the meantime, you don't have a place to stay. And you need to stay with your parents. Mm -hmm. um, you need a good night's sleep if you're working. You can't sleep on someone's couch. You know, it could be a lot of different things. Make sure you like this video, by the way, guys, and subscribe so the next time I come on, you could turn those notifications on and you won't be missing it. Uh, and if there's something here that we discussed that you do not agree with, or you agree with, or you want to discuss a different issue, that's what the comment section is below. Put it all in the comment section and I will definitely, I answer every single comment. Even if, I mean, if they're big town comments, men going their own way and they're being rude to me, I may not answer. If you're rude to me, I may not answer you. But if you're not rude to me and you're polite and you have a, a criticism that's constructive, I'm open to it. Just like I was reading, um, what's his name today? Twice. Yes. What do you call older men with a woman if you were younger? I'm 45. My lady's 31. Ah, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Uh, I'm unemployed and live with my parents. Is that a good catch line? <laughs> it is not unless it's supposed to be funny. I feel like in the past year has been a year of growth and frustrations. Well, Bryson... Good point, because with growth uh, it comes a lot of struggle. You can't really grow unless you do struggle. It's like a, a sore, a, a wound. In order for it to heal, there has to be scabs you know, and growth all over it, right? In order for it to completely smooth over and heal. So it could be a little painful when you're healing. And it could be um, difficult and that shows you that you're on the right path because if it's easy, you're not learning. It sometimes it means that you have to go through struggles in order for you to be better in the long run. Sometimes it means that you have to like deal with your fear of being rejected before anything's going to change. So you know if you're if you're dealing with like I if I walk up to someone and she says something to me, I will crawl into a hole and I'll never come out again. That's the wrong attitude. You have to switch that. It's like turning a dial on the radio to a different station. Get rid of the station of I'm shy, I'm an introvert, and I've gone through some struggles, and I, I don't want to struggle anymore. If you're in your 20s, you're going to be struggling. If you're in your 30s, you're going to be struggling. If you're in your 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80, 100, you're going to be struggling with something. That's life. Life is a struggle, but you learn from struggles. You don't learn from everything coasting, right? 
something's coasting, you don't really learn. You, it, it's the struggles that you remember things. Like Bryson, you're going to always remember the struggle you went through with these people that, that were mean to you. But in the long run, when you look back years later and you're just coasting, you're going to remember that that's probably what taught you more about what you want in a woman than that. You want to impress a woman, ask her out. I promise you 90% of guys that have approached her haven't. Good point, Brown knows best. Yeah, sometimes guys are really good at coming up with the one-liners and talking. And then when it comes to like actually pushing the button and saying, when do you want to go out? They don't do that. They're like, oh, I forgot to ask her what her name is. I mean, <laughs> I talked to some, I remember when one of my son's friends came over and he was like, I fell in love with this girl. By the way, long story short, he ended up marrying the girl I'm talking about. But he falls in love with this girl at the library when he was down in freshman year of college. They talked to her for an hour. And then she said, okay, bye. And she left. And he never got her name or number. But years later, he was able to get married. Years later, he's now married to her with a kid. But prior to that, he you know, he went through, oops, I, I, I let that five seconds go and I never asked her number. Ask her out. I agree with you, Brown knows best. Let's see, Kepa Bauer, when I got chunky, I became insecure. Then I looked in the mirror and said, fuck this. I went out for field hockey and lost the weight. Now I'm happy. Another good point. Yeah. If you're, if there are things that you're embarrassed about physically or mentally fix those because you're not going to feel confident enough to go up and ask people out and talk to them. If you've got, if you're holding on to the shame. So if you can work out and be your best physical self, yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you don't, I wouldn't wait. I don't think you need to wait until you lose weight. But I definitely feel like if something's holding you back, you need to fix it. I, I mean, don't wait, though. Don't wait. Oh, I got to get down to, you know, this amount of weight before I can ask her out. Because what if you never get down to that weight? So you never, you're never, never going to go out. Um, but it's actually not a bad idea. Uh, ask her out for coffee, to lunch, anything but Netflix and chill. Grown women don't meet someone on that street and come uh, Netflix the next day. Not anyone that's not. And not an equality person. Uh, let's see. What is true, Bryson? Oh, about the struggles? The struggles are real. Cougars are usually confident. Yeah, so if what attracts you to women that are confident are cougars, or what attracts you to, my, you know, my definition of cougars, confident, older, unique, genuine, assertive, and racy, what attracts you to that person, it has to, you have to also have the same kind of, you know, you, this person that you're attracted to doesn't want to be with someone who's not those things. So you don't need to have like external stuff like money and good looks and all that kind of shit, but you do need to have confidence in what your gut is telling you. So just do some self-reflecting. Like I, again, I can't emphasize enough. How many of you guys, and please let me know in the comment section, have actually written down every day, good things about themselves. You know, one thing every day. You know, I, I've been doing it with my boyfriend. Every day we write down like one good thing about ourselves. And by the end of the month, we can look through and say, wow, look at all these great things about that we wrote about ourselves. I want a wild Jewish cougar that doesn't smoke cigarettes. Hey, good luck with that one. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know any cougars. I actually don't know. I, I think I know one girl who still smokes cigarettes. I want two cougars at the same time, like the porno guys do it. Remember, porno is <laughs> porno is entertainment. Whatever you guys are asking for, you can. I'm going to leave you with a one more little anecdotal story. So I was working with this guy. He had gotten divorced. He was not good looking. He was not. He was not a. Didn't have the greatest personality. Really didn't have much going on. But he did have a dream. He's like, I really, really, really want to find a woman who he was in his 40s, I guess. I want a woman who doesn't want to have kids, who doesn't have kids because I don't want to pay any pay child support and all that kind of stuff. I want her to be attractive. I want her to be confident. I want her to be um, able to work the same hours as me. Um, I'm like, man, you got those high expectations there, buddy. But guess what? Next thing you know, I, he finds this girl and he marries her. And they're still married. It's like, 15 years ago. I like the Phillies that smoke, especially Lucky Strikes. Okay. Uh, Karen, surely it can't be about getting the question out, asking a girl out. There's got to be more than forced confidence, but true composure, right? 
No, don't put so much pressure on yourself. You're never going to be this perfect, confident person. It takes a long, long time to get there. It is that easy. Yes, ask her out. If you don't ask her out, you will never experience a chance. You will miss every shot you do not take. And you will regret not taking that shot. Do you want to regret? You want a life full of regrets? Or do you want a life? What, what would happen if you took that shot? You're never going to get mad at yourself if she rejects you. You're going to be like, oh, fuck her. I'm going to move on to the next person. And not even fuck her. Maybe like, oh, maybe she had a boyfriend. Maybe she's not into younger guys. Maybe she doesn't like blonde hair. Maybe she doesn't like blue eyes. Maybe she doesn't like dark skin. Maybe she doesn't like light skin. Whatever her thing is, who cares what she likes? Move to the next person. Who gives a shit? Beggars can't be choosers. That guy needs a BBW with no teeth. Who are you talking about, Chucky? Uh, I don't even know what you guys are talking about. I get mad at myself when I don't attempt my shot. Yeah. How many of you guys get mad at yourself if you don't try? I mean, I definitely told you guys a story about when I was in a, um, uh, I was with a bunch of girls. I saw this guy at a bar. I'm like, wow, I, this guy's hot. I'm going to walk up to him, wrote down my number, gave it to him, calls me the next day. Uh, you know, stranger things have happened. If I'm doing that stuff, and that was years ago, and this is right after my husband passed away, why, why, there's got to be other lots of women out there that are, are wanting to be with other people, younger guys maybe, or just guys in general. And maybe they're shy themselves. So go up and just try it. Fellas, if you want a cougar, get out there and take advice from a chairman. Thank you, Gina. You're right. I'm so glad to have Gina here. And uh, who are the other women that were here earlier, um, and my, of course, the people that come here on a regular basis, uh, I can answer all those questions like, wh what's the average amount of times for sex per week for, for a cougar, John, at another time. But I will just say that you have to remember that cougars are not this like, oh, cookie cutter person that are, you know, all the same. We're all different. Every cougar is different. Just like every human being is different. Every snowflake is different. So whether some, some women want to have sex five times a night, some women want to have sex once a week. It, it really depends on the person. It also depends on where you are in your relationship. If you just met the person or if you've been with the person for 10 years. Talk of Texas wants to know if Gina's a cougar. Fellas, if you want a cougar, get out there and take advice from mature women. Absolutely. All right. Is the mall a good place to meet people? Every place is a good place to meet people. Why wouldn't the mall be? It, of course it would be. Any place that you can, you should just keep trying. And uh, I got to run because I've got to go to yoga. I gotta, you know, just get my zen going. But if you have any other ideas, write them down below. If you have ideas that you can help other guys, write them down below. If there's if there's stuff that you have learned, your little tricks of the trade to get someone's phone number or to just push yourself to do something that you're not comfortable with, write it down below. Okay. How do you ask if they are in a relationship? You just ask local celeb, celebrity CA, just go up and ask. It's so easy. You know, you're talking to someone, hey, are you in a relationship? Just sneak it in there. Yeah, I'm married. Okay, thanks. Let's keep talking anyway. Uh, you know, try to be cool about it and then move on. I don't want to waste too much time on a married person, so move on. That's what I would do. Bryson, you're welcome. Please keep up keep up, and, and let me know what's happening. The more you try stuff, the more you're going to be successful at it. I'm 100% sure that it's just a matter of practice, practice, practice. Uh, if you guys haven't gone to my website, KarenLeePoter.com, I have a um, free video download. It's also a good way to keep in touch with me because I'll have your email then because if something happens like what happened last couple of weeks uh, with YouTube when they decided to give me a strike and I couldn't live stream, there's no way of reaching you guys. So I suggest go to the, my website, KarenLeePoter.com. Sign up there. There's a, there's, a, there's a video, and it's called How to Introduce Yourself to Attract a Person. All right. You're welcome, Bryson and uh, Gina. You're 40. Oh, okay. I'm 38. Cool. Cougars I've met got that wet, wet. Okay. Stop walking up to the plate and not taking a swing and being upset when you strike out. Oh, Brown knows best has some good analogies there. Exactly. If you don't take your swing at a base, you're playing baseball and you don't swing, you're going to strike out, right? That's what's going to happen to you if you do not try going out with 
going up to women and introducing yourself and then getting their damn number and asking them out, okay? Just do it, as the Nike said, okay? This is a whole day full of little slogans. Buy on Instagram and buy on YouTube. Don't forget, like this video somewhere. This has got to end and share.